Hi, this is Mrs. Timmons, and today I'm going to talk about how to make an annotated bibliography in NoodleTools. So first, what is an annotated bibliography? When you make a source, down at the bottom in NoodleTools, there is a button that says Save and Add Annotation. And if I click that, what I can add in this box is an explanation of how I plan to use this source in my paper. So for this particular book, it's called An Apple a Day. I will say this source explains the difference between healthy fats and trans fats for a paper that I'm writing on food. So I'm going to go ahead and save that. That's pretty small. Yours will probably be a little bit longer. And it is now going to be saved together with my annotation. So I can see here I just created this new annotation for this book and then at the very end of the, an of the citation is my annotation why I plan to use this book in my paper. Now the annotation is defaulted in NoodleTools MLA format to show immediately after the citation on the next line. If you don't like it, there is a way to change it as a default in NoodleTools for MLA format. And if you're doing Chicago format, I'll show you at the end, there's a kind of a workaround. So first, let me show you how to reformat NoodleTools to actually add a space so that my annotation falls on a separate line under my citation and it's a little easier. In my print export button, the very last option is formatting options. And there's a bunch of different stuff in here. For example, if I don't like the title Works Cited, I could always just change the formatting and have NoodleTools call it something else. I can um, right here change my annotation spacing which is that's what we're going to do but we're going to come back to this later I can also change my printing to select whether it includes annotations or does not it's defaulting to include the annotations and I can change whether I want my URLs included so for annotation spacing I'm going to click this default right now it's on the same line and my other option is just to change it to say longer annotations add a line space. So I'm going to click that and if we go back and look you can see that it's now changed all of my citations and you can clearly see that the annotation is on a separate line. I've got a, a line space. Now just to remind you if you were to print this right now it's defaulted that it would print that annotation. So if your teacher asked you to print and turn in an annotated bibliography, I've added my annotations, I've added a nice line break in between them and when I print or export it's going to include my annotations but sometimes in the final version your teacher no longer wants to see the annotations they just want your bibliography so there are a couple of ways to change that I could always go in and just edit each one and down at the bottom there is a little button I could click to say oh don't include it in my works cited I could click that or I could just strip out the annotation altogether. But I don't want to do that. Let's make it simple. I don't want to change everything. So instead, I can go back to that formatting button and I can change my default to say, when you print, just print the citations, not the annotations. And I've got that changed so that now when I export my citations, it'll no longer include the annotations. So if you're using MLA, that's probably all you need to know. If you're using Chicago, let me just show you it's a little bit different in Chicago because they prefer to have it be right afterwards. So if I go in and add an annotation, this is my annotation. It's going to add it here. It's on the next line, but there's not a line break. However, if I tried to do the same thing in Chicago style and go into formatting options, there's actually not a way to add a line space because that's how Chicago likes it. Now, there is a way to change the printing. So if you did add annotations and you wanted to print citations only, you could do that. But there is a workaround if you really like the way it looks to have a space. And the workaround is just do add a space. Yay! and now I have a space right there. So again, 
uh, it'll work just fine to print your citations either with your annotations or to remove the annotations and to display them there with a line break or without it. I hope that was helpful. Thank you for listening.